Singapore is set to refresh the backbone of its unmanned intelligence fleet, selecting Elbit Systems Hermes 900 to succeed the long-serving Hermes 450 as part of the Singapore Armed Forces SAF 2040 modernization trajectory. Announced by the Republic of Singapore Air Force, RSAF, on November 3, the decision reflects a deliberate shift toward platforms that can remain on station longer, carry more diverse payloads simultaneously, and integrate more tightly with joint and maritime missions. After almost two decades of dependable service, the Hermes 450 has reached the limits of its growth potential in a region where demands on surveillance, border security, and maritime awareness have grown more complex and persistent. Officials framed the move as a measured progression rather than a dramatic leap, stressing that deliveries of the Hermes 900 will be phased and that the Hermes 450 will continue operating during the transition. That sequencing is typical of Singapore's defense acquisitions, incremental fielding reduces risk, preserves operational continuity, and gives air crews and maintainers time to adapt tactics, procedures, and sustainment practices. No formal delivery timeline accompanied the announcement beyond the promise of progressive induction, but the intent is unambiguous, replace an aging asset with a more capable successor without creating a surveillance gap. The Hermes 900's appeal begins with endurance. According to the manufacturer, the aircraft is designed for missions lasting up to a day and a half, a figure that, while dependent on payload and conditions, significantly expands the duration of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, coverage possible from a single launch. That extra time on station matters in Singapore's operating environment, where maritime traffic is dense, weather can be fickle, and tactical windows for detecting illicit activity or unusual patterns may open at irregular intervals. Longer endurance also allows mission planners to reduce sortie counts to maintain a constant picture, easing pressure on launch and recovery elements while sustaining tempo over days or weeks. Payload flexibility is the second draw. Built around a larger airframe and open architecture mission systems, the Hermes 900 can accommodate multiple sensors at once, high-definition electro-optical-slash-infrared turrets, maritime surveillance radars, and communications relay packages among them enabling crews to collect complementary data in a single pass rather than stitching together separate sorties. For a compact city-state with finite manpower, that multi-payload approach is a force multiplier, it compresses timelines from detection to assessment, improves target discrimination, and enhances the fidelity of the recognized air and sea picture that commanders use to make decisions. The platform's maturity also figured in the evaluation. Elbit Systems produces both the outgoing and incoming UAV families, simplifying the learning curve for air crews familiar with the company's human-machine interfaces and maintenance philosophy. The Hermes 900 is already in service with militaries and government agencies across multiple continents, a footprint that signals established training pipelines, spares chains, and software baselines. In practical terms, the RSAF gets a capability upgrade without venturing into an exotic or unproven ecosystem, consistent with Singapore's preference for reliable, interoperable technology that integrates into existing command and control networks. While the RSAF's public statement centered on ISR, the manufacturer emphasizes the Hermes 900's multi-role potential, highlighting tasks from persistent surveillance to precision effects. That does not necessarily foreshadow how Singapore will employ the aircraft on any given day, but it underscores the flexibility unlocked by the platform's power and payload reserves. In peacetime, missions are likely to emphasize maritime domain awareness in the approaches to the Singapore Strait, border monitoring, and support to joint exercises, areas where persistent orbits, wide area sensors, and robust data links can deliver outsized value. In crises, the same airframe could pivot rapidly, reconfigured with different sensors or communications packages to meet emergent needs. The upgrade dovetails with a broader global pattern, advanced militaries are moving from early-generation medium-altitude UAVs to more autonomous, endurance-optimized platforms capable of higher levels of sensor fusion. For Singapore, this trend aligns with SAF 2040's objective of building a more networked, 
tech-enabled force that maintains qualitative overmatch without expanding headcount. Unmanned systems fit neatly into that vision. They extend the eyes and ears of the force, compress the decision cycle by feeding richer data into distributed command posts, and shift certain mission sets away from manned aircraft and their larger support footprints. In the aggregate, such changes free scarce personnel for tasks that truly demand human judgment while letting machines shoulder the attritional work of persistent watch keeping. Transition management will be as important as the hardware itself. Crews will need to validate new tactics, techniques, and procedures for multi sensor tasking and for coordinating with surface units, maritime patrol aircraft, and air defense networks. Data handling pipelines, how imagery, radar tracks, and metadata are processed, fused, and disseminated, will evolve to exploit the Hermes 900's higher throughput. Maintenance teams will adapt to different inspection intervals and line-replaceable units, while logisticians refine spares forecasting for a mixed fleet. Singapore's methodical approach, phasing in the Hermes 900 while retaining the Hermes 450, cushions those changes and preserves operational resilience during the learning curve. At a strategic level, the acquisition sends a signal about priorities rather than about posture. Singapore is not expanding the geographic scope of its security interests, it is ensuring that surveillance over its immediate environs remains comprehensive and timely as the regional maritime picture grows busier and more technologically contested. A UAV with longer legs, bigger sensors, and an open architecture provides margin, margin for weather, for maintenance hiccups, for unexpected taskings, and for the inevitable friction of real operations. That margin translates into steadier situational awareness and quicker, more confident decisions. Ultimately, the Hermes 900 represents continuity through enhancement. The RSAF is not reinventing its unmanned enterprise so much as deepening it, taking a proven concept of operations built around persistent ISR and adding endurance, payload diversity, and system maturity. As deliveries begin and crews transition, Singapore will preserve the surveillance coverage that has become a quiet pillar of its security, while positioning the force to collect more data, over longer periods, with greater flexibility. In an era where information dominance begins with who can see, understand, and share first, that is precisely the kind of incremental but decisive upgrade the SAF 2040 plan is designed to deliver.